Most of the world's democracies today find themselves in the midst of a challenge, the challenge of governance. Governance is not just about winning elections and being in the saddle as a ruling establishment. Governance is the right integration of the decision-making process, its execution and its effectiveness. But are the elected representatives aware of this? If not, then who can prevent a democracy from being an entity at the mercy of bureaucracy? It is in this context that the need for capacity development of our elected representatives gains importance. Rambhau Malagi Prabodhini has been working vigorously towards this mission. Founded as per the vision of the modern Indian thinker and thought leader Pandit Deen Dayal Upadhyaya, this is a one-of-its-kind institution among the developing countries. Rambhau Malagi Prabodhini was established in 1982 as a tribute to one of the most distinguished parliamentarians of India, Sri Rambhau Malagi. The institution's evolution has been due to the remarkable contribution from the former president of RMP, the late Sri Pramod Mahajan. Democracy is now kind of a given thing. People are accepting it. That is the best amongst all the available options. But still, there are certain pockets where you will find that people are doubting, they are skeptical about the efficacy of democracy. People who are electable, unfortunately, have not found universally to be able to have the ability to govern. Role of Prabodhini, the cut job for an institution like Prabodhini is to fill the gap between ability to get elected and ability to govern. On the one hand, Prabodhini is uh, serving the cause of democracy. On the other hand, it is also trying to help the voluntary organizations become more productive, more result-oriented. The first aspect of Prabodhini's mission is training. Even though Prabodhini primarily works towards the training of political workers and elected representatives, its training agenda is not restricted to just those areas. Prabodhini also works actively towards developing the potential of teaching and non-teaching officials of universities, officers in cooperative societies, activists of voluntary organizations, practicing journalists, as well as bureaucrats. जैसे मंदिर में हम जाते हैं और अपने चप्पल है वो बाहर रखते हैं वैसे ग्राम पंचायत के अंदर जाने के बाद पक्षभेद बाहर रखना चाहिए गांव की भलाई के लिए जनता ने हमें निर्वाचित किया है जनता का भलाई करना ये हमारा काम होना चाहिए ये मैंने ट्रेनिंग के बाद सीखा नेतृत्व साधना इज अ ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम बीइंग रन बाय प्रबोधिनी इट इज अ टेस्टिमनी टू प्रबोधिनीज कमिटमेंट टू इनोवेटिव एक्सपेरिमेंट्स इन द कलेक्टिव मेंटरिंग ऑफ यूथ the training programs are mandated to ever inspire the participants, a holistic assessment of the work and skill development. Srinagar mein jab hum training de rahe the, yuvaon ka ek pura samuh tha aur us yuva samuh mein Jammu Kashmir ki ek yuva netri jo waisi rajnitik parivar se thi, parantu is prashikshan ke baad uska rajniti ka nazariya, mulyon ka nazariya, rashtra ka nazariya aur netritva ka nazariya sab ki sab drishtiyan badal gayi. In 2017, Prabodhini launched an initiative by the name IIDL, Indian Institute of Democratic Leadership. IIDL prepares youth who wish to make a career in the field of politics, governance, public affairs and leadership. The youth are enabled to develop leadership based on democratic ethos during a nine-month residential course, postgraduate program in leadership, politics and governance. The alumni of IIDL are successfully involved in several endeavors of social and political leadership. The credibility and eminence garnered by Prabodhini in the field of training have encouraged training institutes of central and various state governments to collaborate with Prabodhini for their new training programs. On an average, Prabodhini conducts 20 such programs annually with a participation of over 2,000 people. Margi Prabodhini उत्तन लाहे मी स्वतः एकदा जाऊन बघून आलेलो आहे आणि माझी फार वर्षापासून इच्छा आहे की अशी प्रबोधिनी राजकीय पक्षाने प्रत्येकाने कार्यकर्ता तयार करायला प्रबोधन करण्यासाठी काढलीच पाहिजे अ फ्यू युनिव्हर्सिटीज हॅव रेकॉग्नाइज द ट्रेनिंग अँड रिसर्च प्रोग्राम्स ऑफ प्रबोधिनी द सेकंड ऍस्पेक्ट ऑफ प्रबोधिनीज मिशन इज टू क्रिएट कॉम्प्रिहेन्सिव्ह पब्लिक अवेअरनेस ऑन कंटेम्पररी इश्यूज दिस इन्क्लूड्स प्रोग्राम्स लाईक लेक्चर सिरीज conventions conferences 
discussions, seminars, debates, essay writing competitions for young students, and conducting study circles at regular intervals. The third aspect of Prabodhini's mission is research. Aimed at nurturing the research instincts of social activists, budding journalists, and other social intellectuals, Prabodhini conducts a number of research projects. While some research projects involve on-the-spot study by researchers, other projects are made possible by bestowing fellowship upon selected researchers. Prabodhini has successfully completed more than 300 research projects by engaging over 750 research associates. Some of these researchers have carved out distinct names for themselves in the society today. A unique project of Prabodhini provides necessary support to newly established NGOs and NPOs. This is to facilitate them to run their organization with commitment to service along with desired professionalism. The evolution of Prabodhini started in 1982. In addition to the tri-faced dimensions of creating awareness, training and research, there are many organizational dimensions of Prabodhini and many more accomplishments worth quoting. Rambahu Mahalgi Prabodhini Advatiya Sanstha Me Churu Me Toh Kalpana Thi Ki Hamaare Jitne Karya Karta Hai Hamaare Saath Sambandit Sanstha Hai Unke Logo Ko Yaha Par Prashikshan Diya Jai Lekin Dheere Dheere Karke Wah Sab Prakar Ki Sanstha Ho Ke Liye Bhi Ek Asadharan Ek Kendra Ban Gaya Hai Kam Se Kam South Asia Me Koi Dousra Aisa Sanstha Nahi Hai Sixth January 2003 happens to be an important milestone of this journey. The then Prime Minister of India, Sri Atal Bihari Vajpayee, and Deputy Prime Minister Sri Ral Krishna Advani inaugurated Nyan Naipunya Kendra, the Knowledge Excellence Center of Prabodhini. Shayad ye pehla prayas hai apne dhanka, aur isliye main iska swagat karta hu. Jo kuch aaj dekha maine mujhe aashirya hai, sukhat aashirya hai. Immersed in verdant nature, the vast campus is of great importance among the institutional aspects of Prabodhini. Creatively crafted and complete with all amenities, this Knowledge Excellence Center is aptly named. The campus is equipped with a well-stocked library, a yoga center, a gymnasium, a swimming pool, a helipad, a compost unit to convert wet waste to organic manure, a water conservation lake, and much more. Pleasing housekeeping and efficient management have resulted in many corporate houses utilizing the facilities of this Knowledge Excellence Center for their training necessities. Every trainee returns motivated due to the experiences, along with a streak of knowledge. This training ke liye aap log aai. इसी प्रकार की ट्रेनिंग विषय अलग हो सकते हैं, लेकिन वो ट्रेनिंग प्राप्त करने का मुझे भी सुअवसर यही प्रबोधनी में मिला। जहाँ आज आप बैठे हैं, वहीं मैं भी बैठा करता था। यहाँ के वर्क कल्चर, अनुशासन, कर्तव्य परायणता और निष्ठा से सभी को बहुत कुछ सीखने को मिलता है। यहाँ आकर सबको प्रेरणा मिलती है। Prabodhini's International Division, RMP International, organizes a number of endeavors. To name a few, leadership training and mentoring for international students and youth, international exchange programs, and also conventions and symposiums at the United Nations. Atal Incubation Center is functioning at Prabodhini under the aegis of Niti Ayog of India. Collaboration between Niti Ayog and RMP has been a very successful one. And I look forward to further such collaboration in bringing together civil society organizations and in ensuring that these organizations play an important role in the government policy formulation and its implementation throughout the country. RMP with its vast network and its long experience on the civil society front will be a very useful partner for Niti Aayog. A memorial museum on the campus 
enlightens the visitors about the life and work of Pandit Deen Dayal Upadhyay. Prabodhini's actions strengthen India's democracy. Every individual has a latent ability to lead. Development of leadership doesn't depend on the power of money, family lineage, or allegiance to any religion, caste, or creed. Leadership is a virtue which demands a strong sense of purpose. Inspired awareness, inquisitiveness, and skillfulness follow it. Besides working on the themes of democracy, training of people's representatives, and good governance, Prabodhin expanded its horizons by dealing with the issues such as water governance, human rights, institution building, and so on. We have also started working with the persons and organizations from the democratic countries like America, Netherlands, Malawi, Israel. Through this, one can witness a spectrum of multidimensional activities that has evolved here. Prabodhini is not a factory of future leaders. It is an institution that instills principles of how to conduct oneself in personal and social life by virtue of its organizational experiences. The process of training is the most important feature to transform an individual into an activist and an activist into real human resource. Social sector specially needs army of trained volunteers who are ready to work in a mission mode. These activists will become pillars of tomorrow's strong nation and some of them will lead the nation too. It is often seen that while working in various social sectors, apart from formal education, one also requires the domain knowledge of that particular sector to work successfully with the ethos and best practices in that sector. And training holds the key to this success. Rambhav Mahagi Prabodhini has been imparting strategic, functional and constructive training to many such activists in the society for about 40 years. Many stakeholders have contributed for this work and are continuing to do so even today. With everyone's cooperation, many activists have been trained and are working, excelling in various fields across the globe holding different portfolios. I am confident that to take forward this endeavor, many hands will come forward in future too. This will help strengthen our democratic process and also Prabodhini's motto of serving humanity. Good leaders lead to good governance. Good governance paves the way for a stronger country. This learning center of democracy with your benevolence aspires to march ahead ascend greater heights and surpass new horizons.